G'day guys, it's Will from Rosebud Mowers. We're back here with part two of our Honda. Uh, last week we did our carburetor clean, and this week we're gonna be adjusting our carburetor, checking our revs, checking our maximum RPM, making sure that we've got a choke uh, for easy starting. So the tools we're gonna need today to adjust the uh, carburetor is a set of standard pliers, a set of needle nose pliers, a T27, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now this may change depending on which uh, model Honda you're running. Um, you know, instead of a T-tool, some have a flat head or a Phillips head screwdriver on the rev adjustment. Um, so what I've gone ahead and done is taken off our plate um, that goes on the front of our mower. Uh, this little plate here, which protects our governor springs. Now there are a couple of ways on these mowers to adjust the uh, maximum RPM. Now I have a couple of different tips and tricks which I find uh, quite helpful and definitely enables us to fine tune our RPM um, really accurately. What I actually have here is a taco just on an alligator clip hooked up to our spark plug lead. Um, you can find these on mower merch, uh, not with an alligator clip, but they are hour meters with RPM gauges on them as well that just wrap around the uh, spark plug lead. Um, so really awesome if you want to keep track of your engine hours and your RPM. Um, the first thing that a lot of guys do when adjusting the RPM on their Honda is move the governor spring down here. Now, generally they'll come with the governor spring sitting up on the highest hole. So the first thing that I usually do um, is I take the spring with our needle nose pliers and I just unhook it and I'm gonna drop it down to our furthest spring. Now this can be a little bit tricky to do. Um, so just be patient. So your needle nose pliers are key at this point to really get that spring drop down to that lowest hole. And once again, I will confirm that I do need glasses because I am feeling like I'm going blind. So be patient. It can be a little bit tricky to get in there, especially if you're blind as a bat. Goodness me. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And we've got it. So a little bit of patience there is absolute key. That's the first adjustment, dropping that spring down to the lowest height. Once you've done that, what you wanna do is start your mower up and check your revs. Now, a happy rev range for a non self propel Honda, I feel is between 28 and 2900 RPM. For a self propel like a HRU216, you can bump them up a bit higher to about 32 to 33. I don't really encourage going much higher than that. They just start to ping and uh, you dramatically reduce your engine lifespan. So what I'll do now is I'll start up the engine, I'm gonna check my RPM, and if I'm not happy with how much RPM I'm pr producing, we'll go on to our next stage of adjustment with our throttle. So bear with me a sec, I'm just gonna do a few little checks and I'll meet you back. All right guys, so I've just rev checked the engine and I've got a couple of issues. The first one is I'm not getting full choke, which we'll touch base on in a minute, so it is quite hard to start. And the second one is I'm still not quite happy with the RPM. So what I'm gonna do now is a trick that you need to be really careful with. So what we can do is we can adjust the governor arm here. The governor arm is a mechanically driven part from internally in the engine, okay? And it controls our RPM. Now, basically how it works or how it works in the linkage system here is that the more tension you have on this governor spring down here, the higher or more resistance you're gonna have increasing the RPM, RPM of the engine. So basically by dropping that spring down to its lowest hole, what we actually did was add more spring tension, which caused the governor to pull on harder to increase the RPM. So I'm still not quite happy. We're still only around 2,700 RPM. So we're gonna increase the RPM with a pair of pliers. Um, now you need to be really careful when doing this because if you over bend the governor linkage, it will rev to the moon and back and you may have an engine failure. So we're gonna be really careful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab our pliers I'm gonna grab onto this governor rod here, and I'm gonna bring back slight pressure. So I'm pulling back towards the back of the mower, and I'm only gonna bend it back about two mil, like absolutely not much at all. So I'm gonna twist with my hand and bend that linkage back, just to apply a little bit more pressure, and then I'm gonna check the RPM again. Again, you need to be really careful with this part. If you over bend your governor linkage, you will over rev your engine. Okay, so again, just simply apply your pliers under the linkage here and just twist back, bending it slightly back towards the back of the engine. Now, 
once we have the mower running, what we can do with our T27 here is we can fine tune maximum RPM with this adjuster screw here. By winding this adjuster screw in here, it is gonna push back and alleviate some spring tension. So what we can basically find is that once the engine's running, if we find that we bent maybe this rod a bit too much, we can actually uh, fine tune our maximum RPM adjustment. Okay, by simply screwing in this T27 screw on the end here. And again, on different models, these are a Phillips head as well. Okay, and we're just gonna screw these in like so. Um, and what that does is also adjusts our 100% RPM just by pushing on this plate here, knocking our full throttle down or reducing our spring tension. So we can definitely adjust our maximum RPM by this screw here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start the mower up. Again, we're gonna check our engine RPM on our taco and we can either now that I've backed that all the way in, it's gonna reduce my maximum throttle. I can either go in or out on that to fine tune the adjustment. But again, ladies and gentlemen, be careful when bending this governor rod because you can definitely go too far and damage your engine. It is a technician trick, but it works really well if done correctly, okay? So, once you've done all that and you're happy with your RPM, just whip me a makeshift throttle cable up here real quick. I'm gonna adjust the choke now. Now, quite often or not, these linkages, they do bend in here. It's only soft, mild steel. So what I can see basically in here, if I go maximum uh, throttle uh, tension, I'm still having a lot of choke untouched here. I'm still having about three or four mil play. So what I can do is I can back my choke off. I can grab my pliers once again, and I can just go on to this tab and I can bend it into the downwards position, putting a little bit more of an aggressive angle on that. Okay, so next time when I put it up into the choke position again, look at that, bang, now I've got full choke. Okay, so again, by bending or applying small amounts of pressure to the choke tab here with your pliers, the rod here that comes into play to push the choke or engage it, now has a lot more throw. And these will just bend naturally over time as well. It's only soft, mild steel. But now I can see that I have full choke and my mower is gonna start up first time every time. So. That's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Try not to over rev your engines, be really careful. And again, if you're gonna play around with the governor linkage, really pay attention in this video because it's really important that you don't over rev your engines. If you don't know what you're doing or you don't have a taco, don't attempt it, okay? Um, because you might think that your ear is perfect at listening for the RPM, but honestly, even me, I always put a taco on everything to make sure that I am running at the op optimal RPM. So hopefully these tips and tricks or these technician tri tricks help you. Um, and again, if you have any trouble or you want some more info, hit us up, mowermerch.com to do, Rosebud Mowers. It's Will, have a great day.